Hello and welcome to Midday Update. Coming up are the top stories for the day. One killed and many injured as multiple explosions rocked Kerala prayer meeting. One person died and several more were injured after multiple explosions took place at a prayer meeting of Jehovah's Witnesses in the Kalamasiri area of Kerala's Kochu on Sunday morning, police said. Kalamasiri CI Vibin Das said the first explosion took place around 9 a.m. and multiple blasts followed thereafter over the next one hour. Sunday was the last day of the three-day meeting which started on October 27th. U.S. willing to defend Philippines against China, according to Biden. As hostilities between China and the Philippines in the South China Sea escalates, U.S. President Joe Biden said that the U.S. military is willing to fight nuclear-armed China on behalf of the Philippines after ships from the two Asian countries collided near a disputed, unpopulated island in the South China Sea, sources reported. The United States defense agreement with the Philippines is ironclad. Any attack on the Filipino aircraft, vessels or armed forces will invoke our mutual defense treaty with the Philippines, Biden said during a joint press conference. Former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence announces withdrawal from presidential race. Former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence has announced the suspension of his campaign for president amid financial challenges and lagging poll numbers. He has vowed to help elect principal Republican leaders moving forward, sources reported. The decision to suspend the campaign for president was kept a close hold among advisers. Many event planners did not know that the announcement would be made on stage. Oman Sales Optimist team to represent the nation at the 2023 IODA Optimist Asian and Oceanian Championship in Abu Dhabi. Nine talented young sailors from Oman Sales Optimist team will travel to Abu Dhabi to represent Oman at the 2023 IODA Optimist Asian and Oceanian Championship. Racing begins on 31st October through until the final day on 4th November and brings together 161 young sailors from 28 nations for the event, which is also part of the 50th anniversary celebrations for the Optimist class. Vote casting begins for Shura Council elections. Today, Amani voters began casting their votes to choose who will represent them in the membership of the Shura Council for the 10th term through the Intercup application, where 43 candidates, including 32 women, compete according to the final list of candidates to choose 90 members. The voting process continues until 7 pm today. Those are the top stories for the day. For more updates, stay tuned and keep watching TTV.